Hi, my name is Jabet Chungmarim Aluwalia. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been doing business for about eight years now. And uh, I run what is a brand design agency, which started off as a design shop. And now we've grown to offer a lot more um, from strategy to research. We do research and also we publish magazines. And so this is what um, I do. And uh, at least in this short video, at least uh, with part of my introduction, is I'd love to introduce you to Akili Dada, an organization I have I have been, I am privileged to be a part of, I feel honored to be a part of them. And uh, I, my role within Akili Dada, I was given a, an interesting space um, to occupy, which is to, to sit on the board. And I say interesting because it has such great impact on, on young women's lives and I feel so honored to be a part of that. Um, so here we are, Akili Dada, um, we mentor young women. Um, who come from underprivileged uh, or other difficult backgrounds and we the whole idea is to nurture them into the next generation of African women leaders which is I think where we need to to take this and the thing it's it's an issue of just simply allowing enough people who've come from these sorts of spaces to have influence on decision making tables so in this short video um, I'd love to share some of the interesting lessons I had um, during my trip um, a trip which was uh, similar to what our young women experience which is being mentored and I was mentored I was mentored by some of the most powerful women in this in this in this globe um, through what is called the fortune 500 mentorship program my mentor was Jackie Kelly she runs uh, 150 offices in 130 in, in 130 countries of their own offices so in in during my time I had a fortune of interacting with deep into this company as well as related companies which was amazing and but one of the things are really i mean there were so many lessons but one of the key things i'd love to bring forth um uh in terms of the, one of the biggest lessons is i realize how shy as kenyans we are in terms of our ideas and i'd love to encourage kenyans in general um, with regard to innovation and their ability to 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 ideate and to follow through with ideas um we have we are very rich uh, from an entrepreneurial perspective in the same way we have a lot of ideas but we are so scared of following through we'd rather copy what we've seen done before and I'd love to encourage us to actually pursue those little bathroom ideas those small ideas you get when you're in the middle of somewhere those little problem-solving ideas um, and just make them come alive and um, because ideas don't start with perfection they start by being started and they start with fear but just cut through the fear is what i'd love to say um and with that i would love to finish with one of the most interesting phases i phrases i came across now with one of those companies that i interact with which is facebook we all know this um <clears throat> they had a sign in one of the walls and it said what would you do if you weren't afraid 